Hello everyone and welcome to 5 Minutes in the Feed Room. Today I will be talking to Jenny Lawrence Clark all about her groundwork demo and what's been going on. The Jenny Lawrence Clark groundwork demo here at Bishop Burton. Now Jenny, as we're working on groundwork today, how important do you think groundwork is for your horse and what are the main benefits? Um, well, I think obedience, it, it's, it's very good for training obedience, like to the voice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and helping the, the young horse uh, a lot um, to get confidence when you come to ride them so they understand your voice and then it's, you know, if things go wrong you say whoa and it stops and that sort of thing. So it helps so, develop the bond as yes, well? Yes, the bond, bond between horse and rider, that, that's important. Um, <clears throat> further up the scale, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I do long rein sometimes, not always, but mm -hmm. um, I, I long rein ponies always for in case kids fall off, get dragged. Then if something's around their legs, they're less likely to kick them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so if you've got long rein, uh, two reins in yeah. other words, you know, around the backside and things, that the horses get used to it and it's not a drama for them. It's like a safety yes, net. Yes, it's in a, a way. safety net, especially with kids' ponies. Uh, I think it's very important, so I always do long reining with them. Um, we don't always long rein our horses, but uh, um, I do often long rein when I get up the scales with them a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes it, it can help with um, like lateral work. You can do that in the long reins, teach them to do shoulder in half pass in the long reins. Yeah. Um, and that can help. It can also help with canter pirouettes mm -hmm. um, and, of course, piaf and passage. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and and uh, so we, we teach, I, I teach most horses from the ground to do piaf. Yeah. And mostly for my voice, is a tap with a stick just to teach them to pick their legs up. Yeah. And then just use your voice at the same time and you go just a kick, kick, and they click, click, and they go. And obviously that'll make everything so much easier because they're yes. going off the voice when you're actually riding them That's as well. That's right, yeah. yeah. So they, they associate your voice <clears throat> with doing what you want and then obviously you reward them quickly uh, afterwards so that they understand what you want. Yeah. And then they want to do it instead of making them do it. Yeah. They want, want to do it. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> and um, so, so you've got to be very black and white with, ho with horses. They're fairly mm -hmm. simple creatures, but um, they do learn very quickly if you treat them properly. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, I find, you know, I find it fascinating. Now I don't really ride myself, mm -hmm. that I can do quite a lot from the ground and yeah. things. Um, and, and I find it very rewarding and also helping various movements. So, um, so you know, we it's do like an extra pathway. You say, yes. yeah, it's and also, if you get into problems, I, I got into a problem with a horse. I don't know what I did to upset it, but I did <laughs> upset it, and I have no horses idea. for you. Yes, but anyway, I got it into a nervous state, and every time you asked it to pee off, it just sort of said, "Do two steps and then take off." <laughs> and I thought, oh gosh. So I went back, went back to, um, in hand, mm -hmm. um, a few steps of pee off and stop, give him a carrot and a few steps of piaf and then more steps of piaf and then stop and give them a carrot. Until eventually you wanted to yes, do it. Yes, yeah. and then, then and played around like that for a bit and um, settled down in hand, so then got on it. And then I did just the same, got on it, yeah. piafed it, stopped, gave it a carrot, and, and then he started to breathe again. <laughs> you, you know? breathe. <laughs> because, I don't know, he's holding his breath and, <gasps> and making it into yeah. a drama, <laughs> do you know? So, We've um, all been so, there. So, um, uh, anyway, that then he became an international super dressage horse. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> so, you know, and, and you could pee up anywhere. You yeah. could do it from walk, you could do it from passage, you could do it from canter back to pee up and out again. And yeah. he, he was he was super in the end. But, um, you know, Aww. I did, I did, I don't know what upset him. I still don't <laughs> know to this day what upset him. And I'm afraid he's gone to heaven now. But, but he's, uh, he was amazing, you know, and yeah. you could pee up anywhere yeah. and in any going one horse i had um all the horses it was a that had terrible weather and the arena was like a mm -hmm. lake a lot of horses wouldn't even go into the water no you know? no and you had to passage down the center line piafadex well you can Oof. imagine it was like a lake yeah you know? and, and, and the my water's horse, spraying everywhere yes, splashing everywhere and yet you know my horse just went down the center line and just went anyway 
Yeah, the horse is like, yep, yeah. I know what's going on here. Yeah, and it, it piaffed beautifully through here in the Aww. water and passaged out and we got a great cheer at the end. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Yes. Yeah, that's like but, one of the benefits. Yes, that, yeah. and then that was, you know, that was because he had confidence in me and, and just got on with the job, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so it has a lot of benefits in, in many ways and it also can enhance the paces mm -hmm. and things um, as well. So, uh, and, and the balance, because a horse hasn't got the weight on its back, so yeah. it's easier for it to balance itself without the weight on its back, so like pirouettes or something like that. So it's much easier for them to learn, especially yeah, so, when they're younger. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, then I've done flying changes and everything, but I don't know whether <laughs> I can do that now. Really. <laughs> My legs aren't so good. Now. Oh, gosh. But uh, I, you know, I taught them to do flying changes every stride yeah. and things could skip along behind them. Oh. <laughs> well, that being said, that shows just how important groundwork is. If someone can't make it to your demo, would you say that your book on lunging and long ground would be a good place to start? Yeah, I think it would. I think it's fairly explanatory, yeah. the book, hopefully. Um, it explains quite a lot. Yeah. And, uh, yes, uh, uh, I mean, I've tried to put into the book all the things <laughs> that we yeah, did. You, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and, uh, and actually, the book on the front cover, mm -hmm. the horse on the front cover, literally, that was the first day we asked it to Piaf. And the second day, is it actually doing it? Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. So, because like, that's just the how quickly it develops. The two days. Yeah. <laughs> so we started this horse. He's only five at the time. Mm. Started him in, in Piaf in hand. And then the next day, we came back to the same place, the same thing. And he said, oh, I know what you want. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. he gave it to us, yes. Yeah, so. so that's amazing that you managed to get that in just the two days. Yeah, yeah. yeah so most of them do it in two days, two mm. or three days, yeah. I'll be taking that home to my po my horse now. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, that's it, you're piaffing. Yes. <laughs> not thinking quite the same. Yes, I think if you just, you know, but some horses are just not, I've, there's one I always failed with. Mm. Um, I mean, one horse thought it was terribly dangerous and got very upset and, and only did it riding. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, if they, got, if they get terribly upset, there's no point in going on. Yeah. Um, so you do it another way. Yeah. Um, but and there's another horse that just didn't didn't seem to click that it should pick its legs up. It had no, <laughs> just didn't, didn't have compute. any feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, without abusing it, you, you, mm. you know, it just didn't seem There's to not get the message. Do, yeah. No, yeah. no. But he piaffed, passaged very well, but he would not piaff <laughs> that horse. Oh, but dear. he still got a gold medal for a oh, small tall horse. Just a gold medal, that's yeah. all right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah gold we'll let medal. him off. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> he did quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, you were also a successful point-to-point -point rider and an event rider. Would you encourage cross-training in other disciplines for horses and riders? Um, yes, I don't think point-to-point -point is probably... Uh, Point-to-pointing is, is really... Um, you, you wouldn't really need long reining for that, except for steerage, mm. to make them go straight and between the reins. But... Uh, and that would be in the sort of early stages, but um, and uh, I don't usually uh, long rein the event horses particularly. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of getting them to answer the the, the leg and the rein correctly. Yeah. Um, so I, I wouldn't use it a lot. And show jumpers, you know, I I I didn't use it for show jumping, mostly for dressage. Why wouldn't you use it for show jumping? Because basically you want the canter. And that's it. And, well, basically a show jumper has to canter, doesn't it? Canter <laughs> yeah. faster, slower, turn a corner, go over a fence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and unless you're very fit, which I'm not now, my, my legs are... <laughs> Put jumping yeah, the one yeah. meter 30 fence behind it. <laughs> yes, but, but actually lunging over a fence, I've, I've lunged over fences. Mm -hmm. And um, that is, you know, that is, well, that's in my book. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's really good. Um, so, so I've done that, but I'm not, I was thinking more of the long reining. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but for lunging over a fence, I think it is good. Yeah. But also loose jumping down a lane is very good for show jumpers and eventers. Yeah. It makes them think, makes them steady themselves. Makes them become independent. Independent a, a bit, bit yeah. more, yes, because nobody's ever put right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's true. Yeah. Nobody's ever right for. Especially, having a stride or whatever the yeah. horse has actually got to think for itself especially with a young horse when they're just learning as well mm, yeah. yes but i mean there are some that are, are brilliant i you know 
one or two Lynn's three-year-olds I put down the jump lane the other day and it was like a flying machine. <laughs> it just jumped. Well then. It jumped about five foot over one, well about two foot I suppose the jump was, about two foot high and it was somewhere up in the air. So like we can that. probably guess what we'll be seeing now. <laughs> yeah, um, I know, it was amazing. <laughs> it's meant to be a dressage horse but it jumped Clearly it's decided not. <laughs> well it could do both. So, yeah, yeah. this is true. You just don't know, do you? So would you say, because you were such a successful event rider before you concentrated on dressage, did that help your dressage in any way because you'd been an eventer? Um, I, I think, you know, I did show jumping first. Well, I did mm. eventing, pony club eventing, show jumping. Um, and, I mean, there really wasn't much dressage in those yeah. days. There was yeah. very little dressage. Um, but basically, what is dressage other than training? Yeah. Basic training, really. So did you just fall in love with the training? Yeah, so, and, and I, I just love training horses. And yeah. Yeah, I love training animals, really. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think, it's, I think it's good to have that rapport with your animal, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. with your horse or your dog or whatever, isn't it? It's like speaking their language. Yes, a yes, yeah, it is. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I think that's what's so, such fun is, mm. you know, that they enjoy it and you enjoy it and... Yeah, you work everyone as a enjoys team. it. Yes, yeah. you work as a team, you know. Mm, perfect partnership. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you mentioned Timolin earlier. Um, he's by Tortillas. Uh, yes. Is he going to be going up for Catherston Stud this year? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, he's already got four year olds on the ground. Oh, will he be doing it again this year then? Oh, he's, he's, he's at Stud, yes. Oh, right. Yes, he's at Stud. He's eventing and doing dressage all at once. What's he like? Oh, he's amazing. Is he? Yes. You, you described it's him on your Facebook horse. as a horse of a lifetime. Oh, he is amazing. Yeah, I've never had a horse so intelligent like he is. Oh, wow. And yet, so he's a beautiful model mm. as a star. Mm. And he's so light footed and moves like a ballet dancer anyway. Oh, lovely. Without sort of trying, you know, just on. Like poetry in motion. Yes, yeah, he is, really. Yeah. And, and then jumping, you know, he's just so balanced. And Does he have and any funny quirks? Not really. I think he'd take the mickey out of a lot of people <laughs> if he weren't. I think he. He's That's the trouble with those smart ones, though. Yes, isn't it? He's, yeah. he's very intelligent. I think um, if somebody was intimidated by him because he's, you know, he's all there. A sort stonking of, lad. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> but I mean, he always comes and talks to you. You know, yeah. put his head in the head collar, and um, oh. but you know, he goes prancing past his women every morning, thinks he's God. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes, and. Uh, no, he's he's no, he's lovely. He's a lovely horse, but he's very sensitive. He's mm. a very sensitive horse. He's got a really sweet nature. Yes, as well. oh, yeah. he has. Yes, you could you know put a child in a stable with him and things. So, oh, you know, that's he's, lovely. He's, he's very very well mannered. And yeah. Things. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was absolutely brilliant. Not at all. No. <laughs> nice to see you. Anyway. It is lovely to see you too. Yes. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And that is all from 5 Minutes in the Feed Room. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. And from Jenny and I, it's goodbye.